This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Big red letters there, and in the white letters, the name of the program is The Ramble. We're here until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, there, his hand is in the way. Get your hand out of the way, will you? See, oh, your kitties. That's uh, Stephen Pearl and his kitties. Oh, which one is that? That's I Am. That's I Am, yeah, yeah. Uh, neat and here's a, uh, whoops, sorry about that. Mother Waters, say hello. Yeah, isn't it supposed to be an old lady and her cats? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm well, the old man. Then. <laughs> yeah, how you doing, Stephen Pearl? Oh, I'm just a little tired today. It's very hot out there, and uh, nothing's going on, so I'm just sitting around. I'm tired, too. I took my pill last night, which usually makes me a little groggy, but then I took a melatonin gummy. Oh, a, g- a gummy. A, a kind of a gummy. Melatonin is supposed to help you fall asleep. And uh, I took it and it knocked me out. And, oh, and well, I, 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 I woke up this morning and I've been bumping into walls ever since. So. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, how's everything in uh, in Las Vegas? How's you? Uh, you know, just uh, doing nothing now. I did uh, I did a bunch of work. I was in Reno and then I did some midnight shows with your friend Alan Steven. That was a lot of fun out yeah. here. Yeah. How is Alan? Yeah. Alan's doing good, and uh, then uh, that was it. So uh, I'm just sitting around right now. Yeah. Well, the question is, uh, has has things go, have things gone back into lockdown? Kind They're of. They're starting to. They're starting to. People, you got to wear your mask if you go indoors anywhere now. So uh, it's coming. The mask has made a comeback. The most exciting comeback is Larry Fine after his third stroke. Yeah. Well, I mean, so, what uh, uh, making its comeback? I, I often wonder if people go in and they're going to rob a bank now, do they take their mask off? Take mask off, yes. We're <laughs> in bizarro land. I mean, everybody, crazy. everybody looks like a gangster with the mask on. Yep. You know, sure. everybody's yeah. robbing a bank with the mask on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, so uh, so uh, you, you haven't been doing any gigs. Not for uh, about two weeks. I've been taking it easy. How do you communicate with the world? You don't have a computer. I have to have a computer. It's on the phone. Everything's on the phone. I got. Well, I got Facebook. yeah. I guess you could do that. Yeah, I got Facebook. I got this. I got that. I got. We got doing this right now on the phone. It's. Uh, it's you really don't need a yeah, desktop the anymore. Thing, the only thing. Oh, oh, I need a desktop. I need that feeling that I've got the world in front of me. I, I, I wish. I wish mine was working. I love sitting at a desktop. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it, it's more suitable than trying to get everything uh, off the iPhone or even an yeah. I, an iPad is maybe a little better because you got a little more landscape. Oh there, yeah, it's, a, it's a, I'm not cut off from the world. So. Let's uh, let's talk about it for a second. You have a problem. Your computer. My computer is a problem. He t- he, he couldn't he put in the password one day and it wouldn't one day. Take, wouldn't take the password. Now that now that what was it. Uh, who knows why that happened? I don't know. I, I, there's three passwords in my whole life I've used, and uh, it won't take any of them. Well, now, it so. could be that the machine, you know, it's a Windows machine, kind of just kind of went gl- glurky on you. There's a <laughs> word word I just made up, glurky. It, glurky. it, it became glurky, and uh, it uh, just uh, wouldn't take your password. That's all. Yeah. You know, yeah. no matter what it's it is. Machine. Machines go nuts, you know. Yeah, have you tried one, two, three, four? Maybe I tried everything. You know, I tried everything. You know, uh, I wonder if there's, I wonder if there is a default password on a, uh, now I see what I tell you to do is go online and look up how to retrieve your password from your machine. Oh, I've looked that shit up and none of it works. Fact, you know, press F2, then press F5, then put an egg in your mouth and twirl around. Well, there might be a way of doing it. Uh, well, I wish I knew what it was. Well, if I can figure it out, I'll do a little research. If I can figure it out, maybe I'll give you a call and we'll go through it. You said to have the machine now? What's that? You have the machine back now? Yeah, yeah. It's already, it's already it's plugged in. I can turn it on. I just It just won't go anywhere from there. 
Well, I mean, it, it does go to the put in your password, right? Yeah, sure. It goes there, and then it's, and it's where you stop. Hmm. The I, weird machine is possessed. It's possessed, I tell you. No, no. I mean, this is this is bad programming on the part of Microsoft, which is not unusual, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've never had this problem with Macs. Never had a problem with it. Oops. See, there's a message coming through, folks. Let me get that out of there. <laughs> Chap surrender. Oh, FBI bag. Yeah, what happens more. is I, I, I record the entire picture here of the Zoom, and if anything gets in its way, like a message, and I usually put it down low enough so that stuff doesn't come in but there people saw the message come in yeah but anyway so so i mean who knows what went wrong but obviously you know you probably knew your password yeah you know? i knew my password yeah you probably put it in a dozen times Ooh, yeah. nothing. this is wrong password well the other thing it's a mac it's a pc right i think so yeah it's, it's, a it's hp there's hp on it so hp it and it's mac the latest version of Mac, if you have a camera, does facial recognition. Uh -huh. And you could have just done facial recognition, but yeah. you can't do that till you've got a password. <laughs> yeah, ain't, that, ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> you know, I often, I've been bothered for years by passwords uh, because maybe I don't want one. Maybe I don't I care don't, if somebody not, can just turn on, on the computer and get into it. I don't care. Yeah, you know because I it's not okay if anyone breaks into my computer. Yeah, if they're so a find porn dot com. So what? Yeah, if they're a hacker, they can get in anyway. That's right. Right. So yep. who cares if you have to have a password for this and a password for that? I'll. We should just have a thing that says, "I forego any password. I'll take yeah. my chances." I don't want a password to begin with. I don't need one. Well, I started out for years. I had one single password. I mean, I had this password since maybe 1993 when I first got yeah. a computer, 1994. I had the same password constantly. And I used it over and over and over and over again. And then all of a sudden they go, you got to change your password. Oh, I, mean, I hate when they do that. Everything's working fine. Let's fuck you up. Yeah, sure. You must change your password. Why? And, and if you put in the old one, they go, well, you've already used that. You can't use that again. Yeah, exactly. Oh, really? Yeah. It, it's okay. So then I took that and I put an asterisk after it, uh, you know? And then, then that was it for a while until they asked me again. Then they came up with this other thing, which just is the most annoying thing in the world called two-step verification. <laughs> Have you run into this? No. No. Well, I ran into it with the Mac, and I've run into it with uh, banks and things like that. They want two-step verification, so no one can really screw with your, you know, with your your uh, account. And two-step verification is they send you on your phone a number, and you have to put that in, oh, and then God. you can get into whatever you have to get into. Made no sense at all. No sense. Okay. And I mean, I don't need all that. I don't care. Yep. I don't, st it, it, in the immortal words of, of uh, Larry Bubbles Brown, go ahead, steal my identity. Then you'll have no life. Exactly. There you, you know? go. Go ahead, steal my identity. I really don't care. You yeah, know? exactly. So it, it's, it's, uh, it's just, uh, the world of machinery. Hmm. You can't live with it. You can't chop it up into a pile. Well, the thing is, I love, uh, you know, I've often, I've really loved over the years. You know me, I love computers. I, yeah, I, sure. I was always into them. I, I I was the first one ever to bring a computer into a control room to do a radio yep. show. And my bosses said, don't don't bring that computer. Don't put that computer in the uh, in the studio. Well, today, every studio is just filled with banks of That's computers, right. you know? Sure. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I've always been very much into computers, but I've gotten to the point where I really don't give a shit about them. Yeah. I really think that they've they've become a, a real problem to us. I mean, think about all the hacking that goes on. I know. You know. Well, technology comes new problems. That's all. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, no, with technology comes people who want to take advantage of it. Exactly. They yeah. Become new rats. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty terrible all the way around, and I, I, I don't know what to, what to do about it.
You do nothing about it. You do your grin and bear. You grin and bear. Oh, I've often you... thought about turning off all my computers and just saying, "Fuck oh. the rest of the world." You know, there you I'm go. not going to do. I'm not gonna <laughs> I do like to do that. I'm not going to do a show. Nothing. I'm just not yeah. going to have a comp- any computers working in my uh-huh. house because they bring me nothing but grief. They bring me nothing but bad information. Exactly. We did. We got along fine without them before. Yeah. So I mean, I just, I, I just don't know what to do. But uh, you, you've got a real problem there, and it should be easily fixed. But, well, it, for two hundred dollars, it is. But I ain't spending two hundred. Well, I understand on. the guy runs a business and he's trying to make some money, but it's, it's something. It's not going to take that much of his time to do. First, he said it would be like a, a simple fifty-dollar job. Then he, he called me later. So, well, this is going to be. This is, this is worse than I thought. We have to do this, this, it's and this. Not, I said, well, it's not worse than he thought. Just erase yeah. the goddamn hard drive. And I don't yeah. care where you do it. Take it out of that machine, put it in another machine, and erase it. Then put it back in, and the machine's going to say, "Oh, new hard drive. Oh, we need to reinstall the operating system." I ain't going to give you two hundred for it. Screw that. Huh? I'll give you fifty for that, but I ain't going to give you two hundred for it. Screw that. Well, if I were there, I'd do it for free. I could do it. Well, I, I could fix it with a hammer and some chocolate syrup. But I. Yeah. But but let me go to my. I'm going to go later and look up and see if I can find how you can bypass that password on a Windows machine and get uh-huh. into your system so you can establish your password. There's got to be there's got to be something you can do. Don't ask me. Uh, Don't ask me. Well, I'm asking you, damn it. <laughs> well, you turn around the thing, you make it 49 megahertz, then you turn around, you put another tape in there and you get yeah. out the four filter, you take out the film and wire, you put in the thingamajig and you mm-hmm. connect it to the etch sketch and the typewriter. Yeah, simple. Simple. <laughs> so 62, then you connect the typewriter to the blender, you press puree and you send an email, voila. Voila, yeah. So um, um, so you're not working right now. Because, right now, I'm just sitting around. Yeah, and because the COVID, Enjoying it. The COVID is kind of running rampant a bit. Yes, it's you, all over you the haven't time. been vaccinated yet, I'm sure. What's that? Yep. Um, the, the, the people say, "Have you been vaccinated?" Well, hasn't everybody? But have you? Hasn't everybody? Have you? Hasn't everybody? Have you? I will tell you. Huh? Ask that. Well, that yeah. m- 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 the that your cat would tell you to get vaccinated. Okay, well, when he tells me in English, then we'll we'll discuss that. <laughs> I don't want to get COVID here, and I'm a cat. <laughs> All right, the Siamese would be like Edward G. Robinson. Yeah, get the uh, get the vaccine. I yeah, he is like Edward. Man, I'm the boss. Say, <laughs> you want coffee? You'll make it this way. Say, you like it much better. Natural house. No, right. but, you know, by not getting the vaccine, you're helping spread it. I'm not spreading nothing. I'm not going anywhere. Well, it doesn't matter. You know, do your part. It's a very simple. Right now, right now, I'm sure you could just roll out of bed, and if you kept rolling, you would hit a vaccination place. Uh, yeah, I know, but I don't want to keep rolling right now. Like, where's the closest vaccine? Where's the closest drugstore to you? Oh, the supermarket. There's, uh, there's, and we have my car's not working, but we have a shuttle that goes there on Wednesdays to the supermarket. Like, the supermarket. And, and do they have the vaccine in there? Yep, they got a pharmacy, and they give the vaccine. Uh, okay. I want you to go over there today. Uh, is your car working? No. Oh. <laughs> this is a man right. whose life is replete with things that don't work. Exactly. Everything I have that's mechanical or electronic is just like on strike. Yeah. But I want you I want you to then go to the bus, right? Yeah, we got the shuttle on Wednesday. And Wednesday, okay. What's today? Okay, today's Tuesday, hey, Tuesday. tomorrow. Take the shuttle to the grocery store uh-huh. and say, hey, I want the vaccine. And then I'll go blind the next day. Yes, of course. Look at me. I've had bad both both the shots. Do I You're look like a, do I look up. like I have problems? <laughs> you know. No, come on. How many millions of people in this country have taken it? Do you hear about anybody having any pop- problems from it? Uh, there's a guy next door to me who grew another head and doesn't like the same music. Ah, I see. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's oh, your. Oh, shared nice central nervous system. That's your argument. I see. <laughs> okay. 
I like growing up ahead, and they won't like the same music as me. No, I want you to get it for a couple of reasons. Number one, you're my friend, and I like you, and I don't want you to die. Well, you know, everybody's got to go sooner or later. Well, yeah, but better later than sooner, okay? You know, I sit around here yeah. saying, hey, at my age, I'm going to be dead soon, which bothers me greatly. We're all going to be dead soon. Well, because I won't have fun anymore, but then again, I'm alive and I don't have fun, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and and uh, I just I just don't want to lose another friend, you know. Oh, um, me strong like bull. <laughs> no, so so therefore I am urging you to get to get vaccinated. Don't be one of those assholes who isn't vaccinated. Look, a vaccine. Wait a minute. Uh. Yeah. Uh, in the neck, man. Uh, okay, I'm cured. It's, it's very uh. simple, and it doesn't hurt. You know, I've seen needles go in all the way, man. Those are long needles. Yeah, but you don't feel it. Those needles, I'll tell you, my wife has to use a needle because she's a heroin addict. Of and course, no, no, she has to use a needle because she has allergies. So she has to take this allergy medicine, and she has to use a needle to do it. Those things are so fine now; they just you 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 don't even have to push them; they just go in. Hey. You know, yeah, I know. I don't mind you. And and uh, you know, it, it's a little maybe it's a, a quick little pinch at best, and then you're a little over prick. it. You know, which is, I've been described as that. So. Uh, you've been described as a little prick. Yeah, little absolutely. Prick. <laughs> so you know, you, you know what little pricks are all about. So yeah, that's right. so, do you sit at home creating material for an act that doesn't exist yes, right I now? Yes, in front of the mirror and I go, okay, I'm going to do this for my new lady driver joke. Hey, these lady drivers today, and then I make the left turn and the right turn, and uh, that's what that's what I do. That guy do pantomime. Well, I was talking to Slayton the other day, and we were talking about the fact that a, a majority of his act he probably can't even do now. Yeah. You can't do the Chinese jokes. Oh, you that's can't right. do that's the out. you can't do the women jokes. You know, I mean everything's off the table. And yep. uh, it's very difficult. I would think for a comedian to come up with material because you've got a very m- m- narrow window to see the oh, world. everything is all cancel culture now. You got to be careful what you come up with. It's it's, it's insane. So, but uh yeah. I don't have any trouble. So, you know, I, I think weird anyway. So, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, do you have anything in your act? Have you gone back and looked at your act and said, oh, I can't? Oh, sure. Like, more, half of it I couldn't use. And said, I can't use that now. Yeah, a lot of it. Give me an example. But, oh, a lot of it. Probably, I, have, I had a few gay jokes probably from 1980 that I can't do anymore. Well, you probably, you probably gave those up years ago. Yeah. Okay. Know, know, but what about stuff right now? Since the cancel culture is out. Is uh, there... Let's see. Uh, don't you think we should kick every chink out of the country? I can't do that one anymore. No, you uh, can't do that one anymore. Yeah. But these Jews today, aren't they cheap? We can't do that one anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's, these uh, Italians know, are all gangsters. You can't do that joke anymore. Exactly, yeah. How about that hippity hop music? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> You know, I was, I was watching uh, Godfather of Harlem, the show on on Epics, and you've got uh, a lot of big, great Italian actors playing gangsters. And every time these guys ever get work, it's playing gangsters. Yep. And you would think they'd be get to get to a point where they'd have that that realization that what they were doing is playing stereotypical parts. Yeah. And stereotyping their own people as gangsters. Exactly. You know. Well, you're not going to see Tony Sirico playing a surgeon anytime soon. That's yeah. correct. But I, yeah. although I have seen like, him. Oh, no, 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 it was bad. Yeah. I've seen him in Woody Allen films playing, I think, a cop. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's capable of other things. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, everybody in The Sopranos, I mean, is that a stereotype or is that a stereotype? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What are you going to do? You know. If you did that about black people, they get outraged. That's right. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. So anyway, I uh, I I was watching a movie uh, last night, uh, starring Kay Francis. I don't know if you ever heard of Kay Francis, I don't know who that but is. at one time in Hollywood, she was the highest paid female. She was that wow. big in the '30s. And this is a film about a woman who's a doctor, who 
Of course, being a doctor and a woman at that time, she really has a hard time getting customers and people believing that she can heal them and so on and so forth. But then she gets pregnant wet, out of wedlock. Now, this was pre-code before the motion picture code came in. Right. And she goes to Europe and has the baby and decides to be a mother without a father. Oh, wow. Ahead of its time, baby. And I'm going, wow. You know, yeah. that sounds like something they made yesterday, not yeah. back in the 30s. But there was the code, and then there was pre-code. And pre-code is like pre, I think, 1933 or 1934. So all the pictures before that were all about sex and people having sex yeah. at the beginning, having babies out of wedlock and, and all of that. And then yeah. all of a sudden in 1934, everybody like stood up straight, no, uh, yeah. no, pe the fat, men and women can't sleep in the same bed together, you know. Oh my, like, ah. Yeah. So, uh, which only brought up to me the idea that times change. And, well, I, and yeah. you know, we, uh, we've come up with a new code of ethics, as it were. And I don't mm -hmm. know that I like that that much. I don't like it either. Everyone's too decent. It's bullshit. Yeah. I mean, uh, years ago, when you did vaudeville and things like that, you had what they called dialect acts. Yeah, sure. These were guys who did dialects. The Jewish dialect, the German dialect. Yeah. Oh, was you there? I didn't see you. You know, exactly. uh, and and they, everybody laughed at that. And they were sitting in the audience, and the person they were laughing at was doing a parody of them. Yeah. But they laughed at it because they go, "Yeah, that's a, that's me." You know. Yeah. Uh, today, if you did those acts, you'd be vilified. You'd be ruined. Finished. Through. Yeah, we've lost the ability to laugh at ourselves. Exactly. And to make fun of ourselves. Everything's... Uh, right. And you're going to yeah. tell me, look, you're going to tell me an Italian isn't funny sometimes because of the way they act? You, a Jew isn't funny because of the way he acts? A black person isn't funny because of the way he acts? Mm -hmm. But, you know, it all it all changes. It all changes. Everyone gets too decent and too unfunny. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, um, oh. so you just sit at home, you smoke your pot. Got your smoke water. my pot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. How, how, out of a 24-hour day, how many hours a day are you stoned? Oh, most of it, probably. Really? Are you you're stoned right now? Yeah, I'm a little high right now. How do, you, how do you know you're stoned anymore? Uh, well, I enjoy, I, I'm smiling and I don't want to kill anybody. I must be high. Okay, but if you stopped it, what would happen? If you stopped? I'd be bored. I'd be very bored. What, this, you're not bored with pot? No. Because my problem with pot is, it puts me to sleep. Well, it puts me to sleep late at night, but uh, yeah. Oh, it puts me to sleep any time I take Shaw it. Movies, so, yeah. and, and I become very withdrawn, and I'm not as outgoing. Well, that's you see, it doesn't work that way for me. It just uh, cocaine works that way for me. Yeah, no, Almost I'm I'm not. Out, I, I, I'm talking about being outgoing, and really, I'm not that outgoing. They got going. Yes, yeah, you're, you're a I social mean, butterfly. Would we you all have described me in the old days as Alex Ben? Oh, he's outgoing. Oh, he's outgoing, baby. He's what, clubbing tonight. When I was no, I was like, I do anything I do. I just, I just, I just smoke a little pot, like putting sugar on it. That's all. Well, well, honey when, on it. When I wasn't on the air, I kind of withdrew. You know, uh, I didn't. I I was very inside, and then as soon as yeah. I was on the air, it was, hey everybody, how are you, Alex? Hey, look at me, I'm uh, an asshole. You know, uh, and uh, that was uh, that was it. Hey, listen. Uh, good talking to you again. I, uh, you know, hey. you're one of my favorite people. Just, Thank you. You're one of my favorite people. Too bad we're not in the same place at the same time. Well, I'm, I, you should have seen me in '78. I was in New York then, but I ain't going back. Yeah, you're originally from where? Long Island, Hewlett, Long Island. Yeah, and did you move into the city at any time? I lived in the city in 1978 for eight months on 31st Street, right across from a chock full of nuts place. And when did you go to California? I went there first in 76 for a visit, fell in love with the place, and I moved there for good in 79. Oh, okay. So, and you were there for most of your life after that? 79 to 87, and then L.A., and then back up north from uh, 09 till, hey, uh, until for 19, to, for 10 yeah. years, another 10 years, and then I came to Vegas. Yeah, 
Yeah, and you did you work with Sam Kinison too? Yeah, yeah. I know all the dead guys. Name them. All the dead guys. Robin Williams, James Knox, Polk, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. All right, we'll talk to you soon, That's my friend. That's Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. Let's say goodbye to him. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, thanks to Stephen Pearl for joining us this evening and uh, having a little happy fizzies party along with us. Uh, again, there's only one person waiting to go on. So, I don't know. Hmm. What am I going to do about this? Yeah. I, you know, uh, I, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 we got into, we got about, oh, seven people last night, or six people last night after a while. But uh, right now, there's just one person waiting, and I just don't know if I want to go forward with just one person. So, uh, uh, let me see here. What should I do about this? Uh I could talk here for a few minutes and just see if anybody else comes along, in which case I'll, well, there we have two people now. Uh, but uh, it's still not enough, still not enough. Uh, I don't know, I, I, I really, you know, I, it doesn't encourage me, okay, when it's been this way lately. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I guess I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just put these two people on, and then if we don't get more, I'll just say goodnight to them. Okay? All right? That's the best way to do it. Let me see here. Admit all. And then uh, uh, there they are, uh, the two of them. Uh, one of which, uh, uh, Jeff, put your, uh, put your, yeah, put your, your the camera so we can see you. You know, okay. No, that's not it either. You got to. No, I got to get it. You just got to get a little more. There we go. Let, let me see here. What? What? Uh, nice lighting in the ceiling behind you, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to, Tony's joining us. Uh, Slow but well, correct. No, no, but you're not. You, you're really not. You, you, you can't you move that camera? It's not there too much light. There you go. There you go. Uh, that's Perfect. Fine. See. Uh, William Ferguson is joining us again. He was here last night uh, and uh, did a very nice job of getting the talk going. Uh, oh, you're in the TARDIS tonight. I am in the TARDIS tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, I never thought of using that as a background. That is a pretty good background to do, you know? I was I was gonna I was gonna like wander into the into the shot as soon as you brought me in. Yeah, just walk into it. Just walk into it like I would like look around and then come sit down. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, too bad you don't have the sound effect. You know. To, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish I had it here immediately to pull up, but I don't. So, hey, there's somebody on uh, the uh, chat room tonight who's writing in. It looks like Russian. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess we're being uh, hacked tonight. <laughs> I would imagine. Uh, it's probably the my pillow guy. It's probably the my pillow guy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. 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 That's that personal commercial. Mm, let me see here. Oh, look who's here. He, I don't know. Are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, let me see here. Are are you back here, uh, Ray? Or are you still in uh, in Switzerland? Wait a minute, France, of, or France? Where was he? I don't know. France, France. Uh, but but yeah. uh, there we go. There we go. Hey. Yeah. Where are you? Are you still in Hi. France? Hey. No, no. I'm back. I came back yesterday. You're back. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Do you, have, do you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah, I had a great time. Went to France and Italy. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, how did they treat you so far as COVID was concerned? Did you have to go into quarantine for a while? No, not at all. Not Just, at all. Uh, they have a pass over there now that's national in, the, in all the European countries. Um, and, you, and you have it on your cell phone. And to go into restaurants and so forth, you just need to show it. Uh, and then you just need to, you know, everyone wears a mask indoors. 
yeah. pretty easy. I just had to get a test three days before we flew back. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, and you had uh, a uh, you 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 had your your vaccinations, right? Right. All right. So you were yeah. you were good to go. Yep. That was great. Piece of cake. That's it, yeah. It seems kind of easy. It is. Yeah. I think Ireland and England maybe are harder. Ireland, I think Ireland, you can't even go in unless you like two weeks of. Listen, I don't think we should let anybody in here now until this whole thing is out of the way. You know, Indonesia is the same way. What? Indonesia? Yeah. Same way. Um, So my wife's from there, and we were thinking about going back to visit the family, but they were like, "No, you got to wait two. You got to come in and you got to quarantine for two weeks at your own expense." So I was like, "Eh, "No." Well, now, you, France and Italy weren't like that at all. It was totally easy, very easy. But also, it was a, a it was good because my wife is French, and she so she figured out how to we could get the pass uh, on our phone even though we didn't have a French test. So if it was just me, I would have been up the creek. I wouldn't have been able to go anywhere. But my wife uh, was able to work it out and figure out a trick with one of the pharmacists because she speaks French and she's French. So. Yeah, yeah. I could see where that would be a problem if you weren't French. Now you had to, you had to get the uh, the test before you yeah. came back into this country, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it seems weird that they're asking that of Americans. You know, if you well, I think it's America that asked for it. It's I yeah. think it's the United States. I know. But you know what? They don't. Even, they didn't even check. I mean, all I had to do was fill out a piece of paper saying I did it. So. Oh, hmm. that, that's. That's why we've got COVID. Yeah, no kidding. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm See, that's fine. a big deal. That's a big difference between us and uh, France and Italy and places like that. They actually check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here it was just like, yeah, I did it. Okay, fine. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, our good friend William here, you know, he came on last night and told us this tale of how he was in the hospital for three months with COVID. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And he was on a respirator for 20 days, tw- uh, 21 days, and they would have just pulled the plug on him, but he started coming around, what, on the 20th day or something? Holy shit. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and last last night, I, I actually was going over the, the play, or actually this morning, I was watching the playback of this, mm-hmm. and uh, somebody had asked a question okay at what point do they decide when to put you into a coma on a respirator and i can answer that and the answer is well you can't move when you're on a respirator you don't just get up and go to the bathroom right you don't walk around you have to you have to lay there how, how do they how do you you obviously pee in your coma right yeah well they, yeah there's a catheter yeah yeah so they got you all plugged up how about oh, yeah. how about pooping? I guess you don't have to poop because you're not eating. Uh, there's a there's a thing for that. The bag. Really? But you, you go were... into a coma right away, right? Because you, it's so, it also it's so di- uncomfortable. You'd go out of your mind. I mean, right. You can't poop. Yeah. So they were actually they were actually doing me a favor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they sedate they sedate you before they intubate you, right? Yes. That's what we just said. Yes. I know. I'm just yeah. clarifying. Yeah. Yeah. And then they put you in a co- induced coma because otherwise you'd have to lay there motionless for a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you know, well, the next twenty days, yeah, yeah. What kind of what kind of, I wonder what kind of drug they use to put you into it? I don't I don't know I don't remember and I didn't ask. Yeah. Uh, wow. Well, you know the the best way to put you in a coma is just to have you get married. <laughs> you know. Hey William, do you know how you got it? You I apparently, you got it? yeah, apparently I, I was exposed to somebody who who brought it in. I had contact with them, and I, I and a few days later I started presenting symptoms. You were not vaccinated, I assume. Well, yeah. at the time, this was this, this was prior ago. to the vaccine. Oh, this was all this was starting to happen when, when the lockdowns were beginning. We didn't have a vaccine to speak of, and I thought, okay, I'll just wash I mean, we my were hands. Even, we were even iffy about masks and so on. Yeah, right. You know? 
there was a lot of question about that. I just thought maybe I just wash my hands, not shake hands with anybody and try to keep everybody at least six feet away from me. And I still managed to get it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, well, we don't have to get into it again tonight because we, we no. really told the whole story last night. Yeah, that was interesting. But uh, <laughs> then again, so where were you last night, Alan? Not that we missed you. Not that I sent you a text message. Do you have me blocked or something? No, I didn't get a text message oh. from you. Oh, well, you're right. I didn't text you. I told you the night before I wasn't going to be here on either show. No, you didn't. I, uh, I, didn't. I heard about it on Jack's show. Oh, well, you got to listen to Jack's show to find out where I'm at. Do I? Sorry. No. <laughs> no. I thought I'd text you and, and and told you, but I guess not. Yeah, well it doesn't matter. I mean I you apologize. Know, you have, you have no you have absolutely no um uh what uh, what can we call it? Uh, obligation. obligation. Well, no, you have no uh, uh uh what's the word I'm looking for? I'm so, obligation. Obligation obligation. I am so bad with words lately and I think it's the drugs I'm taking. But anyway. I, you have no obligation, you know, to, to let me well, know. Well, I usually like to tell you or Jack because I'm on the show almost every night. And, yeah, yeah. You know, the last time I was helping my mother and then I got home on time to get on Jack's show and you heard me. And so, yeah. Yeah. So I will, uh, I'll, I'll try and do well, a you better job. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll just assume you're not going to be on if you're not here. Well, that makes that sense. That would be a good assumption, wouldn't it? Yeah, it yes, would. absolutely. Good. Good. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, what well, what's happening on the news? Since I'm not watching it, Ooh, I watch um, this. I watch the six o'clock news tonight. Six thirty news tonight, <clears throat> uh, just to get the basic headlines because they they pretty well do it without having an opinion. Uh, but uh, I, I I'm not watching like MSNBC or CNN. I heard that MSNBC went out of business now that you're no longer watching. They, it. That's right. They collapsed the one under person. the weight of me not being there. Yeah, I watch MSNBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I I just can't take it anymore. I just uh, I heard Ashton Kutcher made a flip. He he does base. What? Ashton Kutcher. He. Well, Aston Kutcher was saying how he doesn't bathe, and he flipped. The latest news is that he actually does bathe. He doesn't bathe, well, did he say? Never mind. You haven't yeah. been following? No. no it's, yeah. Well, I, I, uh, Ray, it's hard listen, to hear what you're listen, saying. Uh, oh, Aston Kutcher said that he doesn't bathe much unless he stinks between his legs. And then he, uh, he flipped. He says he actually does. Anyway, and, hey, you said what was in the news. I'm telling you what's oh, in the news. Oh, I see. Okay. Jeez. And this is news. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you see, yes. I mean, that, that's, so, that's so close to not being news that I didn't know that's what you were referring to. Well, it's on you the know. front page of my Google News every day, so I thought I'd just let you Wait, know. It's the front page of Google News? Yes. Is that where Online. you go for all the latest news? I do. I do. I have to tell you, because I I go there. You know, I do go there uh, on yeah. my on my iPad. And for instance, if you go there, uh, it, it's uh, uh, you just get all these headlines like, uh, "Do you really know? Uh, do you, re you why you shouldn't really install the Watch OS beta on your Apple Watch?" Oh yeah, I got that one. You got, yeah, that, got that one, one. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, rating Star Girl dips in return. I didn't get that one. Uh, starring Ray Renaldi. Renaldi. <laughs> Renaldi. Renaldi. Well, Renaldi. I was in Italy. I was in Italy. They, everyone was pronouncing it correctly. Renaldi. Uh, Renaldi. Renaldi. <laughs> let's see here. Um, um, uh, uh, Star Girl dipped on the return. Uh, she's he put on a few pounds. She's put on a little heft. Uh, a little chubby. Gina Carano reveals details about first project since The Mandalorian. Remember that whole thing? When it she... got bounced off that, off yeah. that uh, yeah. show? Yeah, yeah. I liked her on that show anyway. I don't care what she said. She she said something that was just stupid, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry. I just, you know, you don't have to fire somebody for stupidity. You fire them because they're assholes. But maybe she was, and that was the reason they didn't want her around. Yes, Tony? I got a little interesting news for you, and you're going to like this. Yeah? Rand Paul. 
Mm-hmm. You like the guy? Oh, I love him. Oh, listen, yeah. He's the listen best. to this. <laughs> listen to this. I'm reading. 16 months late, Rand Paul's wife filed papers uh, saying that she bought stock in Gilad Sciences, which is a drug used to treat COVID 19. It's supposed to be filed 45 days after the purchase. The, uh, the, drug, the, drug, the drug was remdesivir. Yeah, but yeah. It's, but the company that he bought into was uh, a company that produces Gilead, the drug for it. Gilead, which makes remdesivir. Right. Whatever the case is, they never filed for So she knew with information he had, you're supposed to file that 45 days after purchasing the stock. It took them 16 months. And you know what the result's going to be, Tony? Bad. Go back to your life. They're not going to care. Yeah. No, but this, but this just shows you, though, that how sneaky he is. Mm-hmm. Well, he's a politician. He's a <laughs> loser. He's a piece of dog but, goo. Yeah. But but you know what? Now they can he can face he can take heat for this because he's in the wrong here. I mean, they used information. The only reason yeah. why she invested in that company is because they knew that they had information from the inside of what was going on. She yeah. never would have invested in a stock like this unless he told her what was going on. That's like insider trading, really. I don't That's think exactly he knew. insider trading. I don't think he knew. Yeah, Ray? You don't think he knew? How do you think she found yes. out? Can I, say, can I say, Ray can has I ask a question, Tony? Because I was in this business before I was full-time acting. I was in this. So what did he not, what, should, what did she not file? She me? was supposed to file after purchasing stock. She's supposed to why? file a disclosure. They said forty-five days after the purchase, With, she took why? sixty is he, months. Is he on the board? Is she on the board? Is he on the board? I think what it's because it? it's a disclosure. No, it's a disclosure because, pol- because he's in politics. Yeah. He's, okay. He's because he's, okay, so he has to file a form four, I think. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. And I'll tell you right now, I was in that business. Everyone files them late. So I'm not trying to stay on his side because I hate no, that no, guy, but I'm just saying. Hardly anyone ever does it on time because they right. forget they're supposed to do it. And it's only an SEC form. They're never going to get in trouble for not filing that form. It's a Securities and Exchange Commission thing. It's not. It's usually not intentional. I'm just telling you. No, I, I, I doubt mean, anything's going to happen. I mean, yeah. I don't care if anything happens, but it just shows you like what a slime bag he is. Well, this yeah, is the way we, we, have, we, we needed to know that. We have, well, mo- we, have even more than we, we have a certain motiva- motivation that he has to make people sick. Yeah, remember he you was know. going after Fauci, remember? Oh yeah, well they always you know, I can't I can't believe they even go after Fauci. It makes no sense. Well Rand Paul was the one, remember he kept going yeah, after I mean him. it makes no sense. I mean he they've they they made a deal out of him like being the enemy and what has he done? He's just he's just giving you the best information he knows. You know, I mean, Which he's, he's about in, the best information that can be. Well, given I, you out know, the let's world. say he's wrong about everything. It's still he's trying to give out good information. You know, it's not a. It's terrible. The Republicans. Hey, folks! Rand- we'd like a few more callers if anybody yeah. feels like calling. I look at all these people every night <clears throat> who are on the yeah. uh, on the chat room, and, and none of them ever call. None of them ever call. I was wondering how Renee was, Alex. We haven't heard from her in a while. For like a years. two years. I thought <laughs> nobody knows. I know I've you written can't get her. can't get a hold of her. I've written her. I've, uh, you know, I, yeah, I had an email address on her. I had a, uh, uh, you know, a Facebook address on her. I tried her at all of them. Nothing. Yeah, I know. For all we know, that. she's dead. You I'm know? Talking. Does that other guy in Hawaii know her? The, the oh, guy yeah. who used to the, call they, the to- they knew where they lived because they were oh, on the same uh, island, but they were on other opposite ends of the island. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm drinking water tonight. Yeah, I figured you were. Yeah. <laughs> Learned your lesson last night, huh? I was actually. I, was, I didn't have much of a hangover when I woke up this morning around six. I just I just got up, drank a cup of coffee, and did my homework all for the rest of the morning and. I felt pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had a hangover this morning from watching you drink last night. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was, uh, you know. Yeah, I, I did myself. Yeah. Uh, but I I have not been paying attention to the news. I don't watch MSNBC. I absolutely refuse to. I refuse to watch CNN. I have been watching a little Fox because that gives me entertainment. 
You know, and I and I don't get mad at Fox because I know they're assholes. I'm mad. <laughs> you know at, I get mad at MSNBC because they're supposed to be decent and they aren't. You know, and uh, and so that irritates me so badly. I just don't want to watch them anymore. I just sit there, and Mar Marjorie still loves watching them. And I go in there and I go, "You watching that again?" You know. Mm. Um, I just, uh, you know, even though they're supposed to be on my side, they're just so unfair in their reporting. I mean, I like balanced reporting. I like something where I have to maybe make up the decision myself rather than have someone try to force feed it to me. That's not allowed. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it's not. You know. I used to be a big fan of the BBC until they got all woke and... Have, I, it, have they gotten woke? Yeah, they've gotten really, really woke as of late. It, they're it, insufferably woke. You know what we get? I don't know if you get this uh, where you guys are out in California, which mm -hmm. almost everybody here, well, three of us are not in California and three of you are or in the, in the West Coast. Uh, uh, do you get, do they run the 24-hour Israeli news network out there? They might. I've never seen it. I only see Al, uh, Al Jazeera. I've never seen the Israeli one. They, they do here in New York. Uh, I don't see there's it. There's a lot yeah. more Jews in New York, yeah. I think. And the only thing I like about them, because I am opposed to most of their politics, the only thing I like about them is they got some pretty hot female anchor women. Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Telemundo. Huh? Like to like the weather girl. Oh, yeah. oh you like the weather girl on Telemundo? I like the weather girl. Yeah, yeah. So fuck oh, yeah. CNN. She's hot. Yeah. I love Telemundo for that. For sure. There was this one gal they had, and oh my god, I thought she was going to bust out of that blouse. Well, Made I'll tell everybody you. want to run I'll out and you. get tacos. You, you have this thing, one one America News, which is completely right wing, as right wing as you can get. I mean, they're so Beautiful right wing. The other day they were running the complete. Um, uh, thing that that uh, the my pillow guy was holding uh, you know that that uh, oh, yeah. summit he, he was having that data summit or something why was he coked out yeah but they have a woman on there at six o'clock at night our time probably three o'clock your time who is she's fucking hot i mean <laughs> she, i mean she's the worst politically but she's hot Oh, they do that to us. Always you know? the hot ones, man. It's always the hot ones. Yeah. William, where are you living? You said California. Yeah, I live in I live in Yuba City, California. Oh, I own property up there. How about that? Is it on fire? <laughs> no, it's actually it's actually an apartment building in Marysville, right next door. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it may be in Yuba City now after the fires. <laughs> Yeah, you have no idea. Well, which, by the way, today the, the 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 AQI out here is like well over two hundred. The what? What? The air quality index. Yeah. One hundred is bad. Two hundred is horrific. And it's over two hundred. It's like two twenty, two twenty-five. Wow. Wow. Because yeah. of all the fires, because the Dixie, the, the Dixie fire. Yep. Yep. Well, it's just been awful all day. Did the Dixie Chicks have anything to do with that fire? <laughs> yeah, you bl no. blame that on them too. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, and then uh, let's see here, Tony. You sent me a picture of, the, of your mother's tombstone. Oh yeah, they put her name on it. I walked over there. The well, they're supposed day, to put her name on it. Yeah, you know, Alex, you want to laugh? When I was, I walked into the cemetery. I did my exercise. When I went in, I saw the uh, like the truck with the engraving and the guy goes out and he was doing other stones so on the way out i said you know he, oh, he said he did it during oh, the so, week. so it was the family stone they just added her name yeah they added just nancy it took since january well you know 
Those are all I told you five letters, 900 bucks. Five I was letters. laughing when I thought about that. I, I, was, I was thinking of you when I was counting the letters. I got to tell them this. And I was walking out and I was like, kind of like chuckling. $900 with five letters. Yeah, so you go to graveyards to get your exercises. Is that what you just said? Well, I did my, well, I did two mile walk. I wanted to put flowers down to see if they put the name on it. And I went in. But where the where it actually is, it's in a middle village. So it's in a nice uh, neighborhood, not too far from my house. So then I went to the food store on the way home. So I made it like, you know, try you're losing me somewhere here. The, the yeah, cemetery, the cemetery is in a nice neighborhood. It's like it's in Middle Village. Like if you it's walk, it's a quiet right neighborhood. In, it's right in the middle of the of the neighborhood. So when you walk, wait a in, minute. The cemetery is in the middle of the neighborhood. Yeah, in the middle of Middle Village, borderline uh, Middle Village in Glendale. Yeah, it's in a like in a cross section almost. It's very big. John Gotti's buried in here, Alex. And uh, Ferraro, Geraldine Ferraro, and Robert Maplethorpe. I know three people already in there. Uh, famous. Yeah. Was it was Maplethorpe Italian? Uh, I think he's Irish because he's only oh. two minutes from my mother's grave. I walked over and I found it right away. There's always people putting stones on stuff on his stuff. It's a small. His is really small. Like you wouldn't think the guy. Well, what, had money. what do you want? You know, uh, this whole idea of a big tombstone. Oh, there's some big ones there. I was walking around like, wow, look at this. There's some big ones. Oh, they have ones. You know what the Russians are doing in to, in, in cemeteries now? Is that when my friend Jack Garfine was buried, we had to go past the Russian section, the Russian uh, section, and they have these photographs. Oh, I see that, the Alex. You saw that on on the tombstone. Yes, one of a young kid. That's weird. how do they do that? I, it's yeah. some some process they have, you know. And he had they, three stones from my mom. Is every time I walk by, they had like a picture of the kid. He had to be. Like and I don't think they up. etched the picture yeah. in there. I think they actually somehow laminate it to the right. tombstone. Yeah. Is anybody else seeing this? So they're actually building houses as as cemetery plots. They have actual houses. These narco mausoleums. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the mausoleum. Yeah, thank you. Mausoleum. It, it's a house. It's a, like a two-story house. Yeah. Except for much more expensive. Yeah. The, well, they, they're they're mostly narco gangsters. Well, they also do one other thing. Um, Richie Jukin. Who is Richie Jukin? Anybody? Oh no, he just disappeared. Okay. Uh -oh. mm. I, 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 that Jukin was... Larkin. Eh. No, no, no. It wasn't. And where is Larkin tonight? Oh, yeah, where is he? Maybe yeah. he's working. But anyway, so uh, um, um, God, we got a half hour to go, and I have nothing to talk about. Did you go out today? Walking? Did I go? No. Are you kidding me? Did you see? I, I had the swimming pool. Uh, yeah, well, you have the swimming pool, but I mean, I, Let's go I, I, I took a walk yesterday and I came back and Marjorie said, your face is really beat it, red. It was, bad. It was hot. Well, it's not yeah. raining there. I guess the temperature is bad. Hi. Well, I went, I went, I, went, uh, I walked uh, two miles yesterday and oh. I walked two miles uh, in 90 degree weather. So, a lot yeah, so today I figured, I, you know, I, the humidity was 130. Yeah, <laughs> right. Just about. Right. I mean, the it was just, uh, so I didn't want to even try it, you know. God, I remember the East Coast weather. Oh, I feel for you, Alex. I really do. Well, it's just, you know, it's, it's bad enough this is a fucking city. Okay. <laughs> you know, it, you add to that humidity and you go... What? Why am I here? You I know? do that too. It's like I don't want to leave the house. I went to the post office. I run back home. If yeah. Air I mean, I'm trying to convince Marjorie that we should probably uh, sell her place here in New York. She has a apartment, and sell that, and uh, with the money we might make off of it, uh, go and buy a house in uh, upstate. You know, live in the country, do do this show from the country. If I even do it anymore, you know. So. Mm. Uh, but if I, I keep getting hardly any, if I, I keep know. getting hardly anybody calling, I don't know why I'm doing this, you know. Um, and uh, a lot of people uh, don't make it. Like Charlie is unavail totally unavailable now, you know, until the He's winter. He's working again. Until the winter, you know. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't have Charlie, and I don't have uh, Larkin no, hasn't called tonight, and Neary hasn't called tonight, and. Uh, you know. All right. Well, it's but I good. called. Huh? Yeah, but you you I called. called. Well, we're glad you. you're back. You got a new guy hey. too. But hey. If, hey, hey, Tony, have you ever been to Italy? 
No, uh, my brother went with his girlfriend. He says I have to go to Rome. But we got to. I got to go one time. He said it's, I got to go. I want to go to Rome. He said Rome's the. Yeah, dog. I spent four days in Rome. It was amazing. Yeah, did you, you go to the Vatican? It. Yeah, it's like their own country. He says like the. It is. It is an own country. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. They, they have their own little thing. What do you mean it's, it's like? It's not like an own country. It is a. It, it is, is, is its own it country. Is they even issue passports. An hour and a half in the Sistine Chapel, just staring at that wall that Michelangelo did. Oh yeah, ah, it's just a, yeah, it's incredible, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, you know. Ray, uh, Tony has been in the Italian section of the graveyard, though. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there there there's a cemetery like that in Oakland, in the middle of a really nice neighborhood. It's a big one too, uh, and uh, I used to like take Piedmont. photo headshots there. Yes, oh, yeah, it's right on Piedmont, on the right. border of Piedmont, Oakland. Yeah, well, Ray yeah. Renati, yeah. who is is Italian, right, Ray? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am it, what you the thing with Ray and the thing with Tony is that they have the right in Italy to become a citizen automatically. That you can oh, own, yeah, you I started own. it. I started the process because uh, so Tony, <laughs> look it up. Like you, do do you, have, you have any grandparents or great grandparents? My grandparents. All you have to do okay. is have a all grandparent, you, you know, or something like that. You're gonna, Great grandparent on as long as they didn't re nobody renounced their Italian citizenship in between you could become an Italian citizen. My grandma they immigrated from Naples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm there gonna do go. it. There you because go. then I can get my European passport yeah. like everyone else in my family. You know, Alex, check you went to Naples. I told him when I visited my grandmother came from there. My uh, I was like all excited. Yeah. I but the point is, the point is that if you're even even an unch Italian, you get the right to be a citizen. What is this? I'm calling. As long as there was no break in, the, like, if the, because uh, I looked this all up. So if if they came over here, like grandparents, and they didn't renounce their <laughs> Italian citizenship, yeah. then you can, uh, yeah, you can become a citizen. By the way, by the way, hold on a second, Brian Neary. <laughs> let me just uh, run my uh, my my cursor over there. I'm calling. Are you happy now? <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am, I am delighted. I am delighted. And Charlene joined us. And Charlene joined us too. So we have a female presence here. Yay! And uh, uh, slowly, Ray Renati's the son is going down in California. Looks like he's in the witness yeah. protection program. That's right. What about uh, Snoo Snoo Snooky? No, not Snooky. <laughs> wow. Wrong show. Uh, what's her name? Kathleen. What about Kathleen? Oh, well, Kathleen. How about long gone. Uh, Long gone. Oh, oh. She's missed, long gone. Ray, Ray, you missed a lot. I've you had, I've had, show. I've had several people go crazy on me. Okay. Oh, I saw that. I watched it. Oh shit! I sorry. I saw it like two months ago. I forgot. No, there's another uh, one too, Ray. Every every week, somebody's been told to fuck off. It's it, like oh, wow. blah, blah, blah. somebody. Funny <laughs> was there. Robert was there. First, Robert. Robert went. Uh, we had oh, Robert go crazy. Wrong. We had Kathleen go crazy. Uh, I saw that. And oh and, uh, yeah. who, and her who, dad what? was there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I remember. Yeah. 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 I saw that. I oh, and then there, oh. then we have the ongoing thing with uh, what's the guy in Indonesia? Uh, oh, well, Bree. yeah. Bree. <laughs> hey, what's know. wrong with Bree? All of a sudden, he started writing me out of a clear blue sky, saying, <laughs> "You, what you did to me last year? Blah 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 what? blah blah blah." Yes. And Everyone's then, going crazy. Everybody's oh, going that's nuts. That's yeah. the truth. Yes, uh, it's yes, the COVID. yes, yes, <laughs> Jack. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Uh, Bree went, said he started writing. You said, you know, and then that night he called me. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. I will never do that. No, oh, Ray. Ray, you gotta watch the Robert Natali one. That's oh, that, 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 that. Was that? Was that? Oh, after? No. If you I haven't have watched it. Yeah, no, but I had people literally going crazy on me. First, I had Kathleen, which was kind of weird because I don't know what that was about. And then I, I do. What? I watched. I, okay, so her father. She was feeling pressured by her father. I could see it so clearly because he can't stand you, Alex, or the show for some reason. <laughs> she was feeling. She was feeling totally pressured by him. And she gave in and went on his side 100%, and that's what it was. I don't I think I don't think, so you, I don't think you I don't think he interpreted it right. Uh, uh, oh, right. okay, okay. Uh, because All I right. I okay. know her father, and I okay. like her father, and we get along fine. 
But you did know. you see hear what he was saying in the background? It, it, going, well, oh, he was just... he, he was talking about the group. You guys should grow up. And I'm oh, thinking, okay. grow yeah, up I wasn't about on that show. Grow uh, <laughs> what? He's he, talking to Tony. I wasn't on that show that night. Oh, you were on that show. You no, weren't. you were not. I was not. No. I was right. No, no. Yeah. I watched it because I remember yeah. now, Jack. I called that morning, at which I stopped because it cost me too much money. Like it was like. 35 bucks for me to call you on that morning yeah. so that's why i haven't called since yeah, yeah. but then yeah. brie and then uh, brie brie uh, brie brie uh started writing me these uh, things all of a sudden about you know oh you knew how you treated me worse than any human being has ever treated me in my life blah 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 and i he says and go back and listen to the show and he gives me the date of the show and i go back and listen to it and i'm what you know you were so nice to him yeah, oh, yeah. you know oh my god but man. i i oh said god. if i did anything to upset you i apologize you know if that will make you feel better and so ultimately he said fine and that's it that's the last time i've heard from him yes uh jack oh, hey well listen you didn't have happened to you it happened to me last night what happened mm -hmm. last night did you have a nutcase I got a nutcase every night. What do you mean? <laughs> I, didn't even I wasn't know. there. Who would that be? Well, Never mind. Well, well, last night, I knew that uh, Alan was not going to be there. Mm -hmm. So he had said that. And, I, you know, Charlie is running late on joining me because he's umpiring uh, yeah, right. ball. Right. And right. Uh, so I start off with Mike Allen. Yeah. Okay. And I figure, all right, you know, I'll, you know, we'll we'll handle this until Charlie gets here, which would probably be about ten minutes after. Well, five minutes into the show, Mike says, "I gotta go take a shit." Yeah, I remember that. I heard that and, last uh, night. And, and, I, he gets, <laughs> and he just gets up, walks off, and it's just me. And I'm thinking, you know, I didn't have a lot of stuff prepared last night. You know, I usually have some things I can talk about, but I didn't have any of the, you know, my notes in front of me. And so there I am saying, of all the nights for Charlie to be running late, he doesn't get on with me till 15 minutes, 16 yeah. minutes after. And I'm going, of all the nights for everything to fall apart except for the technical stuff, yeah. tonight's the night. And I'm not feeling that great anyway. Mm. Well, you see, now we got nine people here with me. Uh, but in the beginning, it was Alan and me, and then J uh, uh, Jeff joined in. And, uh, mm. you know, that was it for a while. And then, and then luckily, uh, our, our, our new friend here, uh, William A. Ferguson, uh, it, it joined us, and uh, finally uh, Tony joined us, and it, it, Ray came in, and so and, at least you knew, Jack, that what what uh, Mike was going to do. Normally, he walks out, and we think he's getting a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. and you hear this. He takes his microphone with him or something, and we hear this long-lasting fart go on. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, come on, Mike. Turn off your microphone. Wait a minute. Wait, did he take the? Did he take it with him into the toilet? I don't think. <laughs> hell no. I, I I think the guy just has bowel issues that that reverberate through the house. But uh, uh, there is always something happening on the intersection with Jack Bishop that is unexpected. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, all I'm saying is is that I just had these this series of just crazy things happen you know and then of course robert natalie the thing that happened with him was oh, just I, I mean that was yeah okay i gotta hear that when was that oh, I, I missed that, that was God, actually, I, you know, I, it, it was about two uh two weeks ago two weeks yeah. ago on, two weeks. A, on a wednesday two it started on tuesday night tuesday. and then yeah, you gotta watch tuesday, tuesday and, then then and then it went okay to tuesday wednesday. and wednesday starting two weeks ago okay it, i'm gonna watch uh, that i think yeah it's very was, was it two weeks or was yeah, it a week yeah, ago? It no, been the, third, the third and the fourth. No, I think. I think it was a week ago because it was all about the yeah. Cuomo thing. Yeah, yeah it was about Cuomo. It was a week yeah. ago. A week ago. Yeah. A week ago. Yeah. Third and the fourth. Mm -hmm. Third and Boy, the fourth. He, okay. Yeah. He really caught me off guard. I know he caught you off guard, but the first night he went on and on and on. And the second night he came back because he wasn't done dumping on you. I mean, 
Well, no, I think the second okay, night, I... it it almost appeared to me when I went back and listened to it, like he was ready to make the trouble that he made. Yeah, you could be right. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah definitely. Know. He came he came with both barrels loaded the second night. Yes. Yeah, he wasn't there to do anything else but actually walk off eventually. I have no understanding of this because you were, like, defending him around Phil and everything. You were so... And like, you had him on the show. Uh, oh, yeah. He had, like, him, he had him his whole half hour. I gave him his own little little show, That's kind right. of, you know. Well, see, so you give people a taste of show business, and they think they want more, and that's it. And, you know the one. Then, then, you know the person who's never really gone nuts on me, Phil. I've right. never gone you know, nuts uh, on you. Right. He, he stormed he, off a few times. Well, he stormed off a couple of times, yeah, but I mean, basically, Phil's always been easier to get along with, you know, than a lot yeah. of people would believe. The only problem I had with him on the show was when he came on because, and a lot of times he was he was spent the whole show defending himself, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he uh, he just kind of <clears throat> kind of hijacked the show, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. it made it difficult to do a program. Uh, but so that's why I put him on all by himself, and then I kind of slough him off onto the rest of the show on on Tuesday nights, and it works okay. You know, yeah. uh, because I like him. I I don't dislike him. You know, Phil. Can I say guy. something, Alex? Yeah. About you and Phil, I I I find you highly entertaining with him. Like when you first brought him on, the way you like molded him into Phil. Like he's entertaining with you. Like when you are on together, it's well, like well, I have. What was it the it. other night? It was it was uh, it was Brian who, who referred to what I Phil was doing the other night as. He's doing full fill tonight. Yeah, but yeah. Classic, classic fill. Yeah. You know. I think that was from uh, Hangover. Was that from Hangover? Classic mm -hmm. fill. It's classic fill. We need Doug back. We need I, Doug. I like Phil. Oh, no. No, we don't need fun. Doug back. Yeah, he's entertaining with you. you the way you yeah. rile him up and wind him up and go. My I talked to him personally. Sure what, what were you saying, Jack? My favorite Phil adventure was uh, he called my show. Mm -hmm. one night mm -hmm. we're having a nice and pleasant conversation and then all of a sudden he gets up to go to the bathroom and we find out he's just doing the show in his underwear oh my god nothing wrong with that but i mean yeah. it is quite a surprise yeah but it's not like this show you didn't see it <laughs> no you didn't see it you know but the thing is Phil in underwear is not a pretty picture. <laughs> you got to send no. pajamas, though. It's not. Hey, I just want to say about Phil. He, I know Phil personally. He is one of the nicest people I've ever no, met. I swear to you. Guy. Yeah, I agree. Every with time you I see him, he has a sandwich for me. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> he gives. He, he's given me like fifty dollars worth of cleaning products for my cameras without me ever asking. He he's come to my shows. He's he's amazing. He's one of the nicest people I've ever well, met. Well, I mean, I think yeah. Brian uh, Brian will even, Brian will attest to that as well because Brian yeah. knows him and Alan knows him personally. Yeah, and yeah, we know. go to the car show in the morning. We go uh, we go get coffee. Or yeah. He just gets coffee, a whole bunch of coffees, and yeah. just starts handing them out. Yeah, Charlene he's had so it. Char gener yeah. He's so generous. He's so generous. Charlene and loves getting in the old car and driving oh, oh, around the yeah. bad neighborhood. And doing a drive-by shooting. Yeah, uh, Ch uh, Charlene had her hand. Charlene no, had her hand up. I just wanted to say, I couldn't believe when Tony told you "fuck you," Alex. That was, that, really, was, that bothered me. I had to go and listen. Well, back, no, as I, I said like, to Tony, I, as I said to Tony, I've been in this business for, well, since 1954. Okay, oh, Jesus, I've been in this business since time. 1954, and in all those years. No one on any show has ever told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> I apologize. It Except for Tony. <laughs> Tony. I don't know. Did, didn't Because uh, Tony's didn't not Robert? like that. Yeah. No, Robert I'm not. That was alter ego. Now, right now. You were holding your ground on that, though, Tony, for a few days. I know. I was right? breaking him good that night. Well, right right, yeah, right, yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. William <laughs> looks like a James Bond villain. <laughs> Right, right. Boy, look his cat. His cat. That matches the shirt. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice smoky colored cat. Oh, yeah. He's well, her pretty. mom was a Russian yeah. blue, and Daddy came from a good neighborhood. So. Yeah, and Daddy came from a good neighborhood. Came from a good neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. You know what was that movie with Mike Myers with the cat? He was the bad guy, Alex. Remember Dr. Oh. Well, yeah. every, every every James Bond movie, the bad guy, Doctor. Okay. You know, I had I had a cat, you know, so. 
Yeah. I just lost a cat that color. Oh. He was gray like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, her, I've got one I can send you. You'll pick up the airfare. <laughs> yeah. her, her, my cat's mother um, actually died of uh, feline infectious peritonitis, which is uh, which is actually a coronavirus. You know, you, while we're on the theme, wait here. a minute, who got it? My 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 cat here, yeah. Dixie. Her mother, Gracie. Oh, okay. Died from it. Wow. Wow. And I thought this one was going to catch it too when she got to be about the same age. And, and it's a coronavirus. Yeah, it's a coronavirus. You know, we got we got a theme running here. <laughs> next, you know, William. Next week we're all going to have Corona beer too. Okay, you know. cool. <laughs> when is this whole virus going to be over with? I, I mean, I am. Uh, Everybody is so. It's so. I'm tired. Of it. Yeah, we're tired of it. We're exhausted. It's like I'm scared. Sorry. Two years. It's just starting. <laughs> People aren't going to get There's going to be more variants. Yeah. There's going to be more variants. I mean, oh, yeah. nobody gets vaccinated again. Well, aren't they suggesting now that people my age get a booster? He's yeah, talking about you know, compromise. Yeah. Look, huh? Yeah, if you're immune compromised. Well, also are. if you're uh, uh, my age as well. Well, yes. Yeah. Anybody yeah. over 65. Anybody over 90, there you go. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not immunocompromised, <laughs> but I did have cancer last year. I don't know if that... That'll do it. If that yeah, com- that works. Well, well the FDA, works. it's all over the news. The FDA just approved for people that are immune compromised to get a third booster. Oh, the, the, other, really the, other, the other ones of us will come along soon. So what do I do? Just go to the pharmacy, say I'm immune compromised, or Probably. I'm. Probably. I think you or need I'm, a letter I'm, from I'm, the doctor. No, I can say I'm ninety. I don't think so. I, I can say I'm ninety one. Hey, you can just go. You, and just you just show go. up. Yeah, just show up and and tell them you're immune. Co- you're you're getting cancer treatment. That's an immune. Well, I think I'll haul Marjorie up to the pharmacy and see if we can get a, a third shot. You and know. then after you get the shot, we'll see if you change any or not. Yeah, if you turn <laughs> blue or something. Werewolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Hey, but there is some good news on the COVID-19 front. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, Trump's dead? Trump? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm immune, man. Listen, <laughs> I was in San Francisco in the mid-60s. I'm immune. Uh, uh, the good news is that one of the pharmaceutical companies hopes to have an inhalant vaccine here shortly Hmm. okay okay yeah i had one of those flu flu ones not too long ago yeah i I think i think it's uh uh bleach based right (laughs) no no i really that was that was a stretch alan i I think i would rather i would rather have uh, an injection you know I mean, they probably think they want to have, they want to have the uh, the an inhaler, because it will more people will just say, hey, I don't have to get a needle in me. You know, Good news, it everyone! Easier. It's a suppository. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Only right. in France we'll have the suppositories. Right. Yeah. Now down here in the south, they've got another plan. They're going to put the vaccine into bologna and hot dogs because nobody knows what's in those things. Yeah, and they eat that every day. Every day, every day. Well, I saw this comedy sketch show. They had a what ten percent of your hot dog is doing right now, and they see a rat scurrying up the conveyor belt. Well, what I want to know is why today, all your vitamins, a lot of your stuff that you take for you know ingest uh, or have to take like in pill form, is now in gummy form. Uh, why? It's, why it's, is it's that? In your bloodstream. It's because of the CBD and THC stuff. The, no, the marijuana. Oh no, no, the edible. marijuana. Uh, so they have marijuana gummies, but I'm talking about. I'm uh, just talking about like I have uh, uh, yes, probiotic have gummies, and it's we a, have some vitamin gummies, and I just got a melatonin gummy. I mean, why do they feel that I just don't want to swallow a pill? Give me a goddamn pill. I swallow them. Well, maybe you know. It, I think it has something to do with. It's like a treat. Oh, I guess that's, that's the angle they're coming at it. Yeah. I oh, guess well, with my probiotic gummies, I eat them just to like, hey, I'm a little snack, a little, uh, 
sweets yeah, snack. There you go. That's yeah. it for me, but my uh, fiber, uh, uh, not fiber optic, but my gummies, my <laughs> robotic gummies, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I've even got the uh, low sugar ones. Yeah, well, they have the non, they have the uh, the uh, sugarless uh, uh, well, vitamin sugarless, gummies. It's low sugar, you know. Yeah, well, they have like fiber. Mm. They have the fiber ones fiber, and sugar yeah, free. That's, yeah, that's what I use. And I, and, and I got to admit it, I'm one of those people who hates doing pills. I do about eight pills a day for various things, mm. and having one that I don't have to swallow because yeah. I've always had a gag reflex. Well, they say that the gummy thing has happened because of old people. That old people would prefer to do the gummies than yeah, to take a pill. And do I they have like, Viagra gummies? Yeah, that's what I was yes. about to ask. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that would, that would be good for the old people. Hey, honey, I just they had my that. gummy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there uh, you go. All they got to do is compound the medicine into a gummy. Yeah. It, stomach, I, acid, I, stomach acid is horrible on medicine. And so the quicker you get it into your system, the better it is. And a gummy dissolves, kind of like taking a spoonful of yeah. cough Sugar. syrup, but in a gummy form. It helps the medicine go down. Yes, thank you. Medicine yeah, go happens. down, medicine go down. <laughs> Why don't we just have an, you know, you were talking about the fact that they were going to have uh, uh, inhalants for, for, you know, the uh, uh, COVID vaccine. vaccine. Why not just a pill? You know, I mean, that would be easy for people. They would not mind well, they swallowing can't a pill. They can't attenuate the virus in pill form. They can't what? They can't put a virus in a pill. Yeah, but, but the, the, what we're doing now is not a virus, right, Brian? The, the, the uh, That's been testing, though. Huh? Or testing? No, I'm saying that the current uh, vaccination doesn't have any live virus in it. Doesn't have any dead virus in it either. No, uh, I think Johnson and Johnson does, but the <laughs> other two are. Oh, look who's here! Look and look who's leaving, and now look who's back here again, and look who's leaving, and look who's back here, and now she's leaving. And there she, she's going to do that for an hour. hour. Don't don't encourage her. She will do this for an hour. Oh yeah. Oh well, when the show is slow, we'll encourage her to come in. Yeah. <laughs> hey Brian, you know Alex doesn't understand that kids will go on with the least amount of encouragement because he's Not never really. had to raise one. You should yeah. probably rent her out at a used car lot instead of them having to get those wavy things. You know. Right. I just walked through a skunk smell. Ah, oh, gross. Look, look at that. Now ah. she's doing a, her hoochie coochie right dance. For, for being out walking around. Bye, 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 bye. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> is she twerking? Wait a minute. Is, hey. she, is she twerking? Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. It was good seeing you. Good night. <laughs> Five hours of dancing. Bye. Bye. Cardi B. <laughs> Cardi B. Watch out. Last week, he couldn't get her to stay in there for more than a minute. Tonight, <laughs> he's got to get rid of her. Lock the door. I think, she's, a, lock I the think door. she's absolutely adorable. I, you yeah. know, I, I, yeah. have, I have all her pictures on my door to the studio. Mm. So, you know, I didn't even put on the refrigerator. I could have put them on the refrigerator. What happened to your favorite hat, Alex, with the uh, Russian star? Oh, I still I have her. Uh, I have the cat on my uh, my on uh, my Alexa. You wore that last night, uh huh? But you well, weren't there last night. I wasn't here. You weren't here last night. Yeah, we we ran all the pictures of my cat, my friend's cat. No, I'm kidding. I'll go back and look at it later. I'm kidding. Uh, but I know. But I have it right here on my uh, my Alexa. I have pictures that rotate, and this cat is some of them. You know. Mm. Um, but uh, anyway, so um, how you been doing, Charlene? What's new with your life? Oh uh, me? Yeah. Well, um, my son is going to go to Tennessee, and uh, you know I want him to go because I think it's good for him to leave. You know he never goes anywhere. But then I started like hearing about how, you know, he won't get the shot. So now somebody told me that he won't be getting the shot at the airport mm -hmm. because they won't require him to get one. So now I'm getting a little scared because, uh, you know, I hope he doesn't get sick or anything while well, he's down I, there. Is know? he vaccinated? No, he won't. He, I mentioned it to him and he said, 
don't ask me about it. Don't mention it again. And blah blah blah. I said, okay, that's all he has to say. Well, wait, I wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why? You know, why is he that way? I mean, and he's going down to you know, Tennessee, which is like you know, it's a high infection yeah. area. I know. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. I hope he doesn't get sick down there. The entire side is a high he, infection. He really needs to get oh. vaccinated. What he we, really does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping they'd require him to get the vaccine, you know, before he got on the plane. But I mean, what's, I haven't it, talked to William. What's interesting yeah. is, is that last night William was talking about all the after effects, you know, the kind of things that he has now, which is loss of memory. Mm -hmm. You had lost a couple of teeth, right, as a result of it. And it's yeah. all a result of COVID. OK, it's mm -hmm. not a pretty thing. And yes, yeah. you can get it. But then once you've had it, it just it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. You know. My next door neighbor has the long haul thing. She's sick all the time. Who's talking? Mm -hmm. It's pitch black there. Well, it's pitch black. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, right. sorry. We saw a yeah, little. I know because the moon's not out, so it's not very bright. We saw a little <laughs> doggy. We saw your doggy. Uh, you're walking. Oh, yeah. I thought that might have been Ray on the ground with a white coat on. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm done. Tell your son to talk to his uh, doctor. Uh, well, he's that, used to it. They don't like doctors. You know, they don't think they're sick, I guess, or something. You know, I remember being like that. I didn't go to the dentist for years. Right. And yeah. then when I got like, I don't know what age I finally went to the dentist, you know. Wait a minute, I just I got know. a little thing here that said, let me see if, it, if I can read it to you. <coughs> the F F FDA has authorized an additional dose of Pfizer's, Biotech, and Moderna's COVID-19 vaccines for certain immunocompromised people. Yes. I thought you didn't uh, watch me. CNN anymore. Uh, no, 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 I got this yeah. on my computer. I, I got it too from yeah. CNN. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, um, oh, uh, what defines immunocompromised? I don't know if I'm immunocompromised. HIV, cancer treatment. Um, yeah, but my I, cancer I treatment, I mean, things. mine wasn't your normal cancer thing. It, you know, I mean, it was radiation. Uh, it, it lowers your ability to fight off infections, cancer yeah. treatment. Oh, okay. Uh, and then somebody that's got an organ transplant has to be on uh, medicine to prevent the rejection and that lowers your immunity down. Oh, yeah, immunosuppressants don't grow so on those tree. are the three main things. So am I immunocompromised? Uh, uh, I don't you think so. Be. You might ask your doctor, though. But I, I still, I think, I think they might say that I'm, you know, yes, uh, Charlene. I know you don't have much time, Alex, but my mother um, would be a candidate for that because she had Wegener syndrome which is like your body is uh, killing, like fighting its own self. Yeah. Like your yeah. immune system yeah. goes. So I have to look into that for her definitely because I think she's immunocompromised. Oh, okay. She's like real, she could get any kind of sickness real easily. Well, see, I wouldn't mind getting the next shot to just boost my, I, I would feel better about it, you know, mm -hmm. all she the way around. She would feel better too, I think, yeah. Uh, I think eventually we're all gonna be, it's gonna be recommended that we all get another I shot. Think you're right. You know, so. uh, in in fact, uh, we may have to keep getting these shots every six months for the next couple of years. You like know? a flu shot, they say, right? Well, yeah. it's Probably together. It's flu it season. It it's yeah. flu season, and don't forget your flu shot, by the way. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, it's it, we don't want you to get the flu on top of everything else. <laughs> Oh, I got to get my shot next month. Yeah, exactly. Get tested. Get anyway, tested. there's our theme song. <laughs> Brian pushing those tests. Yeah, here's the, yeah, yeah. Get your test, says get Brian. Test. Very right. important. Yeah. Brian, Brian works for a company that makes the tests. Yeah. Right. Where is it? I, I, where is mine? I have still have it here somewhere. Is it one of the, Brian, is it one of those rapid tests? It's a PCR test. Yeah. PCR okay. Test. Okay. Anyway, hey, listen, thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, uh, uh, Alan. Thank you, Tony. Always a pleasure. Or William, it's two nights in a row. You know. I'll be back next Wednesday. Okay. And you didn't drink tonight. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Drink tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ray Renati, great to have you back. And uh, Thank you. Uh, Charlene, good to have you here. And, of course, Ray Renati, when you're not here, I worry. You know. Oh, well, I told you I not, was not, not Ray Renati. Excuse me. Brian. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, Ray. <laughs> I don't worry about Ray. Just... They look so much alike. And last night I called yeah. Steve Kravitz Stephen Pearl. So, you know. 
But I'm not going to I'm not going to make excuses for having a Don't senior apologize. moment because I we am a senior. We know what you mean, Alex. Don't yeah. Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. Okay, there they go, folks. There they go. Okay, that's our citizen panel for tonight. Jack Bishop is next with the uh, intersection. He'll be here taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, if you haven't done it, get the vaccination, okay? Bye.